management for entrepreneurs. As an entrepreneur, even one who started out living in your mom's basement and living off Pop-Tarts, you need to plan for your future as you build your business and establish yourself in your chosen industry. You might be under the impression that wealth management is only for the supremely wealthy, the storied moguls and infamous oligarchs who flit between their private yachts in the south of France and their private jets in Monaco. But you're wrong. Wealth management is something that every entrepreneur should be thinking about, regardless of current net worth. Here are the things you need to consider. 1. Investments, diversify. Investments, however small you start, are a crucial way of managing and building your wealth. A key tip to success is diversifying. You need to make sure that you achieve the right balance between low-risk products such as bonds, CDS, insurance policies, and money market accounts and riskier investments such as currencies, stocks, and variable and indexed funds. The level of risk you're prepared to take depends on your investment goals and how closely you are approaching retirement. Just like life itself, you can take more risks when you're young to have a long way to go before twilight cruises and hip replacements beckon. But if you're involved in a startup where the potential gains and the potential losses are high, you'd be smart to be more conservative in your other investments. 2. Keep business business and personal personal. Mixing business and pleasure may sound like fun but in reality, you could end up with hefty legal bills, a few extra kids you hadn't bargained for and a restraining order. In all seriousness, it's wise to keep your personal finances separate from your business dealings. 3. Automate your investments. It's now easier than ever to automate your investments, the rise of online banking, Online-only banks and the explosion of investing and banking apps make staying on top of your investments easier than ordering a pizza. Many investment accounts offer automatic withdrawal. You can change the amounts and the regularity of the withdrawals as your finances change, but it's a good idea to get into regular investing habits early, setting yourself up for a lifetime of effective wealth management. 4. Property, Property, Property once your startup has received VC funding or your business is starting to pull a profit, your parents' basement no longer looks so comfy. You may be tempted to rent office space, but if you can afford it, you should consider buying. You're not only investing in your company's future but also paving the way to earn passive income from renting out your office and helping build up your property portfolio down the line. 5. Ask an Expert if you require urgent heart surgery, you're probably not going to ask your Uncle Pat to perform a double bypass on the kitchen table, unless Uncle Pat is a renowned cardiologist who lives in a hospital. It's admirable to want to do it yourself, but consulting with a financial advisor or wealth management expert who specializes in entrepreneurial business is an even smarter move. It will cost you more in the short term but, in the long term, you have much to gain. While well, you should educate yourself on the basics of taxes, accounts, and business law, a tax advisor, an accountant, and a lawyer can ensure that you're making the right decisions for you and your business. After you've gone. It's not the most palatable of thoughts, but planning what will happen to your business in the event of your death is an essential part of successful wealth management. It's not only kings and queens that need a succession plan. You need to consider whether you want to leave assets directly to your beneficiaries or place them in a trust. Keeping your offspring or spouse up to date is vital. They will have enough to worry about if you die and trying to figure out your business plans from beyond the grave should not be one of them.